everybody, this is Praxis, and today is all about getting windows uh, sealed with foam around them, and I've been starting to install doors downstairs. But for this video, I wanted to show you the process of getting the foam seal around the windows. The type of uh, foam that I'm using, uh, and I'm keeping it here in my cooler with a jug of hot water in there to keep it nice and warm, because this stuff likes to work at 60 degrees or warmer, uh, is uh, great stuff. Foam, and that's the name of it, and that's not my qualitative assessment, though it is pretty good. Um, this is window and door foam, and this comes in the blue container. Uh, there's another uh, container that Great Stuff makes that is red, that uh, is uh, for, you know, kind of filling in everywhere else. And the reason that there's a difference, and by the way, you know, whatever brand you buy, they may not be blue or red or whatever, but look for window and door if you're going to be sealing around windows and doors. And the reason for that, and they've got this little stupid thing on the end, I just tear off whenever I go to use it. Um, the reason for that is that the regular expanding foam uh, is rigid and really tries to expand and fill up a void, and you don't really want that when you're putting it along the side of a window because uh, if you get too much pressure pushing in on the sides of the window jam, then it'll be hard to open and close the window. So that's why you want to use specific window and door stuff. Uh, addition, uh, additional to that, uh, the last time I did the last house, I used this stuff for around the windows, but they still were a little sticky. And I think one of the reasons for that was that I really filled it, uh, you know, completely full in one pass with this stuff. So what I'm doing a, a little bit differently this time is I'm putting just a little bead on the back side to kind of seal it, let that expand, and then I'm going to do a second pass. Uh, after that where I'm going to put uh, a little bit more of the stuff on and I'm hoping that that'll just uh, be a little bit less pressure as it expands because I'm doing it uh, kind of in stages. And the way that you do it is uh, just stick the foam tube in and then just pull on the trigger here. That's probably not all that interesting but I'll let you watch. Yeah, these, these are a little weird though. I've had these for a while. They're supposed to be good for the next year or so but they, uh, they've kind of firmed up and there we go. We haven't been coming out quite as easy. Maybe there's a little blockage. I'm trying to do it nice and smoothly as it comes out because you get uh, much less waste and uh, a nicer beam going up and down. So uh, I did most of these windows around here. I got some more to do upstairs. Uh, by the way, if you ever get this stuff dripping, just let it set, let it harden, and then it's really easy to pick up. If you go and try to wipe it while it's wet, it makes a real mess. So if you ever have this stuff drip around, just let it do its thing, don't touch it, and then later on it'll pop right off. Uh, just to give you a sense, uh, this is a 16 ounce can, and a 1 16 ounce can seems to be able to do about four, maybe five windows of this size. These are, you know, almost three feet wide and five and a half feet tall. That's it. Thanks for watching.